when you're trying to arrange a meeting for somebody, you want to make it as easy as possible for them to pick a time that's going to work for them. I find it a bit awkward if I'm sending a calendar invite and people have to figure out how do I use this? How do I pick a time that's going to work for me? Especially if they have to switch back and forth from the calendar app to their own calendar to see when they're available. Now one app that makes this a lot easier is Savvy Cal. You can overlay your own calendar against your availability, but so can the person who you're inviting. They can look at their availability so that they don't have to keep swapping back and forth from your proposed time and the times that they've got available. It's just a much easier experience for them, a better experience for them when they are booking a time. Let me show you how it looks. So here I am in SavvyCal.com and first of all we'll go to settings just so that you can see that you can set up your own username, time format start of the week and your time zone, all of that sort of stuff. Let me jump straight across to integrations and you can put in conferencing, so you'll probably want to use Zoom or Microsoft Teams. They would be the two popular ones. Maybe Google Meet as well. And you've got a couple of other options. And you can connect to different calendars as well, which is really, really good. Now, there are some other automations here that I won't go into. That's a little bit more advanced. But you do have the option, if you buy the premium plan, to integrate with Stripe, which means that you can charge for sessions. So people can pay for sessions that they are booking a time with you. Let me show you how easy it is to set your availability. You click on here and you can set what times you are available. And you can have multiple times in a day. It doesn't just have to be one time slot. Uh, you can add times, you can delete times. Look how easy this all is. And as I add these times in, you can see the times are fitting in here. So let's say that I'm going to add a recurring one of, uh, say, every Friday, and I'm going to make it from uh, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And even as I set these up, you can see the times here are being set in the calendar there. Nice and easy because I'm, I get to overlay my calendar. Now, I can have more than one work hour, one set of work hours available. So I might have another one, specifically a time for, for example, I'm going to do a YouTube channel review with somebody. Okay, I can add a recurring range here so you see how it all works. I could even put in some time blocks here. I'll skip all of that for the moment. Whoops, I've got the time wrong. It's just that. And I'm just going to make that Monday between 9am and 10am. And there we are done. You can see the time slot is already put in there and it's automatically saved. Nice and easy. Very easy to set this up. Now, you can also create events. Now you can also view the events that you have set to attend or all events. And what I really like here is that there is a nice easy workflow as well. Simplicity is really important here. And the workflow allows you, for example, to set a reminder to an, before an event. So let me do that here. I can start an automation from scratch and add in these things that are going to happen before the start of the event. For example, send a reminder or a casual reminder. I could even integrate it with Zapier here. And how long before the event, or I could send something after the event. How long before, minutes, hours, etc. Really, really easy to use. So you can set that up as a workflow. It's going to, de to delete that workflow. Once again, you just see just how simple this all is. And instead of starting from scratch, I can set these templates, use one of these templates here. 
So for example, you might like to set a reminder or you might to conf like to confirm a sales demo. And you can, of course, put in your own subject line here. You can set up your own templates. You can include, for example, a little link, a little video if you want, a link to a video or something like that to say, hey, here is what to expect. Even set up some sort of automation, some sort of reminder or some kind of setup immediately before an event starts really really good now the analytics is going to be especially valuable if you are running a sales team or managing a number of, of calls that you are doing one thing i really love is in the scheduling links here you don't have to limit your times to a particular time let me show you i'm just going to turn this off so these are all 30 minute slots. But what I may want to do is say, actually, I'm going to give you the option of choosing a 30 minute slot or a 60 minute slot still within the same time window. And so somebody may book a 30 minute slot, but they may book the full 60 minutes. I don't have to create two separate slots for that. Choosing a location, I can connect with Zoom, for example. And of course, you need to set up the Savvy Cal permissions for Zoom. You can pre-fill the recipient info so that you can put in details that they have already shared with you so that they don't have to go in and fill all of those details in again. And of course, you can copy the URL. You can even propose times. I'm going to recommend these times specifically that are going to be preferences for me really really they've thought of a lot of things here in terms of making it a better experience for the people that you are inviting as you can see you can overlay your own calendar and so can the recipient so that they can see which slots you've got available that fit in with their own times as you'd expect you can embed a link to Savvy Cal, which you could then put, for example, on a website or then within an email or somewhere else. When you are sending out an invitation to people, you want to create as little friction for them as possible. Make it easy for them to book some time with you. And that's one thing that I think is a real great strength of Savvy Cal. If you want to try out Savvy Cal, you can use the free version uh, for a single user just to try it out just to see just how easy the interface is and so if you want to do that then use my affiliate link in the description to this video savvy cal i really like the way that they have thought this through to make it a better experience both for you and for the person booking the meeting